<coughs> Sorry. I meant cool is how I kept my little glowworms for breeding. Did it help? Let's find out. Since 2004 I have been keeping Sardinian glowworms. Now in 2020 this is the 20th generation of them. Starting with the exceptionally hot and dry summer last year, there have been heavy, heavy casualties in my colony, which wasn't exactly the best for my sanity. If you die, I will f***ing kill you. Then, in late October of 2019, there was a bit of hope because the first adult male appeared. Unfortunately, he was way too early because the first adult females uh, did only appear near the end of the year. He was long dead by then. And no other male in sight. So I collected all three females and I did put them in the fridge because this slows down their metabolism and they might stand a chance to live long enough to see the next male. Good plan. Didn't work. For this female at least. She went into the fridge too late. Hm. In contrast I kept the next male pupa extra warm so that it might develop a little bit faster. When the male was finally ready I took the females out of the fridge and grabbed the male and there were matings but unfortunately unsuccessful. This female did not lay any eggs and an impromptu autopsy revealed many spoiled eggs inside her. Those few eggs that were laid by the other female, well they looked kind of similar. I guess the reason for this failure is because the females were in the fridge for a really really long time and um, ridiculously long I think. Um, and perhaps the eggs just uh, weren't all that fresh anymore, even though the females were still alive. So sadly, those last two adults died without leaving any offspring. However, in March of 2020 there were again both sexes present and matings were able to commence. I prepared some well aerated cricket boxes and in order to fuel stupid gender stereotypes the males get a blue one. I hope that now I will be able to document the first successful mating of generation 20. So um, this is the first male of the new batch. And there are some call him. Tim. At this moment I have four females ready. One, two, three, and four. Now, who should be paired off first? Those three females, they glowed last night. Which means that they are ready to mate. This one did not yet. Hmm, and among those that did glow, who should be first? This one glowed for a long period of time, which is a good sign that it uh, is certainly mature, because it uh, is advertising more desperately for a male, so to speak. And this one um, glowed about the same time. And they both glowed longer than the third contestant. This one looks uh, ready to start the display. It's um, near the end of the photo period. 
and this one is uh, not near the elevated place in order to display but that doesn't necessarily mean anything but it's quite large and uh, if it's larger that means it has more eggs so this one is first there you go hello wake up there's a nice female yoohoo huh? no wrong direction yes better better mm -hmm. yes 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 good Ah, not wasting any time. Okay, I think uh, you should have some privacy now. Ah, was about time. You see, the female already dropped an unfertilized egg. I left the pair together for one night and after that night um, the female did not glow anymore, so I assume it was fertilized. And I did put it in another box, which uh, had uh, a higher humidity, in hopes that she would lay her eggs. Let's check it out. Oh man, the tension is killing me. Hmm? Huh? Do you see what I see? Right there? Oh yes carefully deposited eggs and a visibly flattened female. I think we have a full clutch of fertilized eggs, yeah! This female has also already spent a night with the male and it, it did not glow last night, so I think it's also ready to lay its eggs. So I'm gonna drop it right in there to the other female. And I hope that she will lay her eggs there. I like to keep those egg laying boxes in complete darkness and in a more temperature constant environment as um, to prevent the formation of condensation water, which might drown those beautiful eggs. I guess life just goes on. Literally in this case.